Howdy everyone, we're Starcy here, and today isn't going to be a review video or any of that, but rather a sort of PSA. I've still got a couple of reviews coming as I've kind of fallen a bit behind lately as I've had everything from sickness to a few COVID scares to a bunch of other crap from life thrown at me that's gotten me a bit behind schedule. So don't worry, I've got a couple of games I'm currently playing whenever I can, and I've already started taking notes and such, so reviews will come soon. But getting on to the topic here, as you saw from the the title of the video, the Vita, the PSP, and the PS3 may be in trouble here soon. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is confirmed or not, as I first saw the news in a Twitter retweet, but I looked it up and saw multiple articles reporting on it, and apparently the PSN store for all three of these systems is set to shut down, with the PSP and PS3 going down in July, on the 2nd to be precise, according to the Polygon article I read, link in the description, with the Vita to follow in August, on the 27th to be precise. Now, honestly, I'm not too much worried about the PSP. I've looked online plenty of times for ISOs, both of full games, demos, and even of minis, and I've never had trouble finding anything I've looked for besides, at worst, having to settle for a European ISO rather than a USA one, which works the same anyway. This is one of those cases where you can thank pirates as, thanks to them, I don't think we have anything to worry about losing on that system. Now, the Vita and and to a slightly less extent, the PS3 is something you should be more concerned about. Now, I say the PS3 to a lesser extent because at this point there just aren't any games being made for it anymore. You want new stuff, you'll have to look to the homebrew community, which has a few releases every now and then, with the most recent notable one I can think of being the port of Super Mario 64 to the system. However, the PS3 isn't completely out of hot water. Reason for this is because all the games for the system haven't been backed up online, at least not completely from what I've seen. I've followed the PS3 homebrew and hacking scene somewhat closely over the few recent years, so as with every retro slash obsolete system, I've also looked into the piracy area. When it comes to the actual games, I don't think the situation is too dire, as whenever I look for newer games, I can usually find a PKG of the game, which to those of you unfamiliar with what that is, it's the game in a format that you can install onto the home screen and can typically be ran on any model of PlayStation 3 with very little setting up needed. Now in the admittedly somewhat common case where I haven't been able to find that format of an older game, that's where ISOs are usually easier to find. So games themselves, again thanks to pirates, are pretty much backed up quite well decently online. However, I know that not everything is there, especially DLC from my personal experience. I already have this game on multiple systems, so it doesn't really affect me as much, but I still thought I'd use it as an example as I've looked online and haven't found any of the DLC archived for it. The game I'm talking about is Monopoly Plus. I've never found the DLC in any format, and I've looked pretty hard. My point is, there's still stuff like that, digital only, that if it isn't archived in some way that hacked systems can get their hands on, it'll end up in the same situation that simply delisted games end up in, where if not properly archived, will be lost to time. But anyways, enough about the PS3 and piracy and such, let's talk about what I believe to be the most important issue here the Vita. This isn't like the PS3 whereas it's a discontinued system and the only issue is simply assuring that every game and its DLC is archived online for future Vita adopters to experience. No, the situation is actually worse because while not very often, there still are games being released for the Vita, even if very slowly. Now, the Vita scene has already been dire in the past with the PSN store on the system acting up and at times not even letting people purchase the games or even showing recent releases in the proper places, but if the store in its entirety is shut down, this creates two issues. One that's guaranteed, and one that could potentially arise in the future alongside the digital store shutdown. First and most important, the few publishers left supporting the system, lovely publishers such as Retallica Games, and sometimes you who have released some wonderful indie games in the recent past, will be incapable of supporting the system, and will be forced to abandon it, officially killing the non-homebrew side of the platform because honestly the homebrew side is probably one of the best homebrewing communities at the moment right now.
But the second potential problem that could arise is that shortly after or even alongside the store shutdown, we could see many games have their online servers shut down. I'm honestly not familiar with which servers are still up as I haven't played a Vita game online since 2013 or 2014, but I can imagine that with many games not having a way to legally obtain them anymore, with the exception of used copies of physical games, that there'll be no incentive to leave online servers running and thus they'll start shutting down one by one. So here's my advice. While it isn't yet confirmed by Sony themselves, we should still take this very seriously. So if there are any digital only games, especially indie games, that you haven't bought yet and have any interest in playing at some point, I'd suggest getting them as soon as possible because unless you plan to hack your system and hope to find a backup of the game in the future, this may be your last chance to do so. That and I think that the indie devs deserve a few more bucks for their continued support of the Vita. As for backing up games yourself, I'd say Say if your Vita is getting full or already is full, I'd recommend using either your PS3 or PC, preferably PC as there are more options that don't require the internet connection, to store your Vita games that you aren't currently playing. But hopefully by some chance the person that leaked this news is wrong and we can continue to enjoy new games for the Vita and pre-existing ones for the PSP and PS3 for another few years to come. Honestly, I don't see why Sony even has any reason to shut down these stores anyway, because to my knowledge, they aren't running on any different architecture than the PS4 and possibly even PS5's PSN store is. I'll use the comparison of the Wii Shop to the eShop. I can understand why the Wii Shop shut down because it was a completely separate thing from the Wii U, 3DS, and Switch eShop, and it was on a console-to-console -console basis rather than a Nintendo account one, and it used a non-shareable currency. But with PlayStation, everything shares basically everything account-wide. Who knows, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but I figured I'd at least make a video bringing this to the attention of anyone who still uses their previous generation PlayStation systems. Especially since the Vita is my favorite handheld console with the PSP coming in second. So hopefully this has helped you in some way. I'll be sure to keep an eye on this the following months, and if it turns out to be true, I'll probably make another video on it when the time comes. Till then, this is WarsRC on the Game Clips channel, and I'm out.